Qatar for the deteriorating humanitarian crisis resulting from the activities of armed bandits in the Amfara State. Uh, the motion is sponsored by me and is co-sponsored by all the well-meaning distinguished men and women of this uh, hallowed chambers. Mr. President, aware of the recent public protest staged in Abuja, other states of the Federation, and indeed by other Nigerians in the diaspora, as a reaction to the deteriorating state of insecurity in the Amfara State. Convinced that the protesting public needs to be commended for their show of support and the need to sustain such a sense of solidarity and oneness as it has, as it has the potentials of compelling those in authority to do the needful. Aware that the activities of the armed bandits, cattle rustlers, kidnappers, kidnapping for ransom on villages and the communities have remained unabated. Aware that the, that the activities of these bandits and the cattle rustlers have since 2011 to date resulted in the death of many people in addition to creating tremendous humanitarian crisis, which include, but not limited to, growing numbers of widows, rape victims, and orphans. Aware that a conservative estimate of 11,000 male adults have been killed since 2011 in Zamfara State. The, uh, the death <coughs> resulting resulted in the death of many people, sorry, uh, ambassadors leaving behind an average of 22,000 widows, uh, taking a modest estimate of two wives uh, per person, and an estimated 44,000 orphans, uh, estimated at an average, modest average, of four children per deceased uh, person. Mr. President, it is pertinent to point at this time that these numbers uh, a very uh, conservative estimates. We have much more than uh, what is this because there is no correct census uh, of figures of what we have on ground. Aware that in terms of casualty ratio today, uh, the display, <coughs> uh, cas casualty ratio and displacement, the Amfara State remains far ahead of so many states in the Northeast and North Central. Uh, Mr. President, like I said, uh, this is us at today. Uh, there are times when Northeast was a hotbed uh, of this uh, <coughs> uh, problem, but today, the Amfara State is arguably ahead of all other uh, states in the country uh, in terms of this uh, uh, problems. <clears throat> Aware that owing to cultural and religious consideration, the burden of these widows, orphans, rape victims, and displaced persons <clears throat> are borne largely by close relatives, extended families, and sometimes immediate neighbors who are now overstretched to a point they can no longer cope. Father, aware that these killings have brought untold hardship to several other families who have squeezed <coughs> uh, and accommodate displaced persons and families uh, over stretching accommodation, scarce food items, clothing, and other <coughs> sundry items. Alarmed by these negative consequences arising from this and the need <coughs> for more humanitarian interventions for the growing number of widows and orphans, and uh, the Senate to accordingly resolve to, one, command all Nigerians who, irrespective of cultural, religious, and tribal differences, came out in their numbers to show solidarity to the plight of their brothers and sisters in the Amfara State. Uh, urge the National Assembly to make a provision of a modest sum of 10 billion naira in the 2019 appropriation as intervention fund to cater for the IDPs and other persons affected 
five activities of these uh, armed bandits in Zamfara State. Uh, Mr. President, I think uh, <clears throat> maybe looking at this prayer, uh, the crisis in Zamfara State is capable of, like I said, engulfing the whole of North uh, uh, Western State. As I talk to you today, Mr. President, <clears throat> more than 75% of people in Zamfara State are not sleeping in their houses. Uh, more than this 44,000 opens roam across streets and everything, and nothing is being done, you know, to uh, take care of uh, this situation. Mr. President, the last prayer is urge the federal government to set up an ad hoc committee to be known as Presidential Initiative on Zamfara State, PZAMS, with a 10-year lifespan to manage the said funds and the subsequent uh, allocations uh, and donations. Mr. President, uh, the situation in the Amphara State is quite pathetic, like I said. It requires uh, the attention and uh, the hands of all the well-meaning Nigerians uh, to look into. Uh, the problems, like I said, <clears throat> is because of uh, some religious considerations and so on. We don't make camps, IDP camps. Otherwise, the Amphara State would have been a kind of uh, uh, trade fair sort of uh, arrangement where you see tents and uh, uh, bookers, you know, spreading all over the place. But uh, today, we have very, very serious issues, like my friend, Senator Emmanuel Boata said. Uh, kidnappings is now right inside uh, the state capital, Gusau. Uh, people are being picked at broad daylight, and uh, <clears throat> you can imagine what is happening in the villages. And uh, today, <clears throat> the situation has escalated much more than that, Mr. President. They born villages completely rest down. <clears throat> Mr. President, like I said on the floor of this Senate, uh, in the previous uh, years, uh, this situation has got nothing to do with politics. Mr. President, I said it is just a matter of time. This issue is going to touch each and every one of us. As I stand before you today, uh, just about four weeks ago, uh, before the elections, my own sister, was brutally murdered in her matrimonial home. These uh, bandits went into their town, in her house, in her room, put a gun in her mouth, and shot her dead. Uh, one week after, uh, two of my uh, cousins were also killed in a neighboring village that is just about 500 meters away from the main road. And uh, as I'm talking to you now, Last two weeks, about four people were kidnapped in Busau. Last week, also, about three or four were kidnapped right in the state capital. Mr. President, I urge you, uh, my uh, distinguished colleagues to look at these prayers and uh, do also or extend uh, the kind of solidarity that was extended to the Northeast when they were in this crisis. Uh, may God uh, save Nigeria. May God uh, help us all uh, to get out of this uh, messy situation. I thank you uh, very much, uh, my colleagues and uh, the Senate President.